Merry Christmas! Special delivery! Delivery guy brought us another haul to show you, a little bit of a special haul, because it was from a weekend trip that we took to Chicago. For reselling wise, we made it a point to make it over to Crystal Lake to see the trading post, which is Pete the Craigslist Hunter's store. Uh, Craigslist Hunter channel right there. He certainly doesn't need a plug from a little channel like us, but uh, great guy, one of our favorite YouTubers. So we wanted to stop and just say hi and check out his store that we never been at. And while we were doing all this all weekend, we stopped at a whole mess of little thrift stores up there on the way here, Ohio, all different states. And we found quite a bit of stuff. So I'll let Janelle show you what we found. All right, so Frank found this at a Goodwill. This is an Intex Cat Face Island pool float. New in the box, got it for $6.99, and there was a sold comp where it sold for $30. And obviously not really the season for it right now, but that should be a quick, easy listing, even if it sits around until next year. Got these four plush by the Manhattan Toy Company. The collection, I guess, is called Jelly Beans. This is Clementine Horse, Berry Bear, Kiwi Turtle, and Cherry Dino. Got them each for 50 cents, I believe. There's one comp for one purple dinosaur that sold for $23, but there's no like lots for sale or sold. So I figure I can maybe lot the four up. With, they got their tags and everything, maybe sell for 20, 30 bucks. So we'll see. Found this Eden Toys Oshkosh Bear in dress. There's no actual solds on her. There is one listed right now for $28. I'm going to see if I can get her dress cleaned up a little bit. And, but being that she's Eden Toys and Oshkosh, that's two good brands. So I thought she was cute and I just wanted, I just wanted to get her. <laughs> so I figured she'll, she'll sell. This is a Carter's 2014 gray puppy dog plush with orange bandana. None listed right now, but there is two solds. One for $39 and one for $49. Does need to be cleaned up, got some spots, got a tiny little rip in the back. I'm gonna see if my dad can help me out with that, with his, I can't sew, I can't, nothing. So, so we'll see, get him cleaned up. And yeah, especially being that there's none listed right now. Another Frank find, John Wayne 20 film legacy DVD collection, new sealed. We paid $5 for that. And that has sold for about $35. So nice, easy listing, new sealed. Another Thai, Beanie Baby. So this is a Thai Pluffies uh, collection. This is, let's see, the pink, pink monkey. I guess the name is Dangles. He does not have the, the ear tag, but that's, that's not a big deal. I, I've sold a blue one of these before. The pink one has sold for about $44. So. Whenever I, this is one of those that I, I know about already and that's, that's an easy pickup. This is a $19.99 Fisher Price Smartronics kitty cat. Um, you push the button and it, I don't know, some kind of learning baby toy numbers. And that has sold for $19. I think there's one listed right now for maybe $19 to $25, somewhere around there. So I think I got it for 50 cents again, maybe a dollar. And so I figured for that, price I'll it's not a bad not a bad flip it does work I tested it I won't I won't run that for you right now uh Frank found these Nike dunk free basketball shoes I guess royal blue I don't know I'm worried about these being <clears throat> authentic I I don't know much about shoes I and feel how like to something like them. you can pay to get them authenticated but for something like this it's not worth a ton so I feel like I don't know I mean I don't know I maybe they wouldn't fake something that's not worth it I don't know these are $38, there's a sold comp for these. I don't know if it's the right size or whatever, but but yeah, they seem to be in pretty good shape. Obviously worn, some you know light wear and wrinkles and that, but <clears throat> pretty cool shoes. We got them for $7, was it? Were they on sale I'm trying to find or? the tag in there. Yeah, $7, Goodwill tag. Yeah, not bad. $35, $40 bucks maybe, we'll see. Pretty good shape. Another Frank find, a shark iron. Is that what we're doing now, Frank finds? I don't know. I mean, you find... <laughs> you a nice little ring to it. I always find the stuffed animals. You Frank, find the, Frank finds. you know, uh, the good stuff here. A, she, she actually rejects a lot of my finds. <laughs> I, I throw stuff in carts, you know, when she's walking around, and then I find her comping it out and putting it all back. <laughs> sometimes. Not all the time, obviously, you know. But a shark iron, uh, steam, stainless steel, uh, 
open box it's gone for $27 that's what this one is I'm pretty sure it's new in there I'll have to double check but it looks it looks new I mean it's got all the packaging and everything so we'll see but 27 bucks or so we got that for five dollars not bad Frank find an ice bucket this is George Briard I guess did you find this one? No. I, I got it on Purely Looks. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty cool. It is cool. It's like I mean, old, it's like you know? a fake leather. I'm assuming it's yeah, like real leather. Yeah, but it's leather, old but and like in really good condition. Yeah, it is cool. And I've heard ice buckets do well. And there's a lot of comps for ice buckets. And especially, you know, this brand. brand, right? Yeah. We can't find the exact one, though. I found a similar one. It's kind of uh, backwards from this. It's tan with red red um, accents there or whatever. It sold for $21. We got this for $3.00 get it cleaned up and yeah I think it's pretty cool I think this might even be good for the holidays somebody would like that for Christmas we, we didn't look over this stuff real good or look at comps too carefully because when we went to these goodwills we, we tried to get like in and out as fast as we could you know I mean because we were traveling we were trying to get to our destination right. you know just whenever we wanted to take a break or use the bathroom we stopped at a thrift store yep. you know, worked out we, well. we worked out a little system where I actually dropped mm -hmm. Janelle off at the door of a goodwill and then I would go get gas, grab snacks, use the bathroom. She used the bathroom in the Goodwill. I'd come back, come in to the Goodwill, do a quick lap and kind of push her along to get out of the Goodwill. And then we'd be back on the roads. Uh, a couple stuffed animals I bought without specific comps. And I've done that before and I've done pretty well with it. Um, this is a Fairview plush. I don't know that it's got a year on it. No year. Still has the tag though. I mean, it looks like it's, you know, maybe from a CVS or something at one point, but it's got a little hang tag. Real good real good shape and everything. So it's Fairview. There's a couple sold Fairview plush that sold for 25 to like $45. Not the, the noses of those are the hard noses. And this is just, you know, the soft with the fur. So I don't know, maybe I'll price it at 20 bucks or something and somebody will like it, you know, with the bow and everything. I got, I got to ask, cause I really don't know how this all came about. I, I got, I mean, the viewers probably got this question too. How did you get into the plush niche? Because I you never really been that big into it, you know, before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I guess love, I don't know my wife very well. <laughs> well, I mean, I haven't collected them as an adult necessarily, but ever since I was a kid, I've loved stuffed animals. And so being that I can go so and look for them. To study yeah. It and find them. So it's I love it. I that's I I always tell people that I ever since I was a kid, I love stuffed animals. I had a million of them. So now I get to go and just look at them all and yeah, I don't know. I, I love it. That's my favorite thing to look for to sell. It's not huge money usually. So this is a Kelly Toy lamb plush rattle. <clears throat> Couldn't find this specific one. There's lambs that are kind of just up and down, like they're sitting down, whereas this one's on four legs. Uh, one of the other lamb type plush is sold for $18. Like I said, can't find this one, but sometimes that's good. Sometimes I can price it at $29 or so and... I have the only one that somebody's looking for, so that's that's happened quite a few times. We can always lower the price. We yes. can we can never go back to the buyer and say, hey, could we have more money? Yeah. Cause I think we priced that too low. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real good shape. I mean, a nice you know baby. This one I almost did not get because I couldn't find it when I tried comping it. So Pocahontas uh, Disney Store plush, and the ones I was finding, she had like a. She had like a, a belt too with her dress, not obviously this exact one, and I, I wasn't seeing it, but I, I think I got it for 50 cents or a dollar, and I'm like, well, I'll just get it, and I'll look more into it later. So looking into it later, I guess it's the Disney Store Pocahontas Animators um, collection, I don't know, but $49 and $59. And I don't know that there, oh, I, I can't say if there's any listed right now. I don't remember now, but that's a nice, I'm glad I, I'm glad I picked that up. Might need to be cleaned up a little bit, but nice find. Do you even remember, I, I mean, well, how many states did we travel through? Three or four states, four states? Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois. Do you count New York? Yeah, well, I, I guess I was going to ask you, do you even remember what state we got all this stuff in <laughs> each thing? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't remember what states we even stopped in for we, Goodwills. We, we love traveling. We'll find the stupidest reason to just drive to another state and check it out. Or Especially different city. now where we can thrift just, and everything and see just, different areas. We, we just, I don't know, we, we love our country. We love the different areas. We, we feel like life's too short to even see everything that we want to see. So it's, right. 
any chance we mm -hmm. get, we're on the road. So. Yeah. This is a Mary, <clears throat> Mary Meyer plush. So I don't know, is that considered a cat or a tiger? Couldn't find this specific one. Couldn't even really, I found other ones like this by different brands and they didn't sell, you know, for huge money or anything, but Mary Meyer is a name brand. It's old. Um, this, I think this is called like this type of hair is called mohair. I don't know if that's how you say it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not super soft, but real good shape for, you know, it's age. It seems like it's got the, you know, the green eyes and the bow and got the tongue on there still. It looked like it came from a garage sale. Somebody was trying to sell it at a garage sale. They had a 25 cent sticker on it and didn't sell. So I got it probably for 50 cents or a dollar. This one. Okay. I mean, I'll probably have this listed by the time you guys watch this, but let me know if you have any idea about this, because I can't find this specific one with the pinstripes. The Chicago Bulls vintage hat snapback by Sports Specialties, NBA. There's black ones, all black, black, and then the Chicago Bulls, the same, you know, script and everything. And I know I don't have this one. That have sold for three hundred fifty and nine hundred thirty dollars. I know that. Are you that, kidding me? That no, one's but, sold. Yeah. Okay. But that's different. That doesn't have the red brim and it doesn't have the black with the pinstripes. But I can't find one like this. And Maybe you know that what? one's more. It might be missing the button. It's missing the button on top there too. Uh, but I mean, whatever. You know. now, now it's a five dollar hat. <laughs> Somebody might want to display this or something. You know, whatever. But um, three dollars. I actually found this on the way to the cash register. What did you say to me? Check out the hats? Did you tell me to check yeah, out the I, hats? Yeah, I don't know. I, I always You say mentioned stuff it, like but that. you were trying to rush me out the door and I checked and I didn't even, you know, look this up. I just saw Chicago Bulls, snapback and everything. I'm like, okay, well, we'll pick that up. So not in, obviously, the best condition, but we'll see. I don't know. Let me know if you know anything about this particular one with the pinstripes, what, what I should price it at. I don't know. And that, I'm still doing that city. No, 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 no. I have a belt on my leg. Okay. This is a Baby Starters My First Christmas Rattle plush. $2 at a Salvation Army. I think, so I found one sold that sold back in August for $11. No other solds right now. I think there are a couple listed, but for $2 and with Christmas coming up, I figure, why not? I'm sure, I'm sure it'll go. Found a TaylorMade Burner Super Fast 2.0. We sell a lot of these. We find them. I mean, we kind of paid up for this one. Well, $2. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I usually you know try to I mean, find them for like 50 cents or a yeah. buck at, at garage sales. Not even a buck, but. Got a tag on it. I know yeah. that. I, I don't even know why I picked it up it. for that much, but. Yeah. I, no, I know honestly, though, I mean, it's they, nice. We move, we move a lot of these. You know, it's, it's got, got that leather kind of. Um, even if we make a buck or something, I can throw it in a poly bag. It's easy, quick to list and ship. There was one that sold for $15 free shipping, so I mean, yeah. we'll price it around there and see. It's in, you know, excellent condition. Never saw this one before. You guys know that I like the Fisher Price Snuggle Monkey, where it's like this, where you push the belly and it lights up and plays music. So this is a bunny, and I've never seen the bunny before. Paid up for it, five dollars at Savers, but goes for thirty nine dollars. Savers so. is always expensive. They are, but sometimes every now and then I do find something. I mean, like I said, I did pay up for this. So what's nice about these is the pa the battery pack inside and the the light up you know, light up and battery pack together. It comes all the way out, so you can wash these, which is really nice. I mean, it's got some spots on it. I'll be able to spray it. It'll come out looking great. I've, I've cleaned these a bunch of times. I've gotten a lot of those snuggle monkeys and I wash them all. The heart and everything's in real good shape, so I'm happy with that. Uh, another Frank find, a Radio Shack wireless headphones rechargeable. Uh, that's sold, that has sold for $32 with the box and everything. It's got the box, it's got all the stuff in it. We paid $8 for it. The ear pads are cracking a little bit in some spots. They're not really flaking or anything yet, but there there are some cracks, so we'll take pictures of that real good. And I mean, with the box and everything, you know, maybe even if we got to list it for 20 bucks. This one, I couldn't even find anything. This is a kale toy dog plush uh, Christmas. He's, you know, she's got a Green and red scarf, got the green bow, real good, real good condition, got the tag. I couldn't find anything similar by Kale Toy, but she's cute, you know, for Christmas with the tag. I figure she'll sell, so I don't know what I'll price her at yet, but 
Yeah, she's cute. She'll make a nice present for somebody. Another ahead, Frank say find. It. Yep, go ahead and say it. Yes. This is Frank's big find of the weekend here. How do you say it? Baymix? Did you Deluxe? Look the, did you look this over? Does it comp out what we thought it would? The comps are... Okay. are uh, let's see. Oh, so there's no... There was a... I can't remember now the sold. There's a sold new where everything is like still sealed in the box. It sold for over $100, I think. And then a used one without the box that sold, I can't even remember. But there's a couple listed right now for $69.99 and $89 with the box. It's one of them wine mixers. And I think this one was like before the one that was on TV. Because the one on TV was just like white. That was like back in the 90s or 80s. I don't know. So yeah, I mean, with the box and everything. Pretty sure, I mean, we'll, we'll, have, to, we'll have to run it. Yeah, it's Plug kind it of, in, uh, but it seems like it ha has everything. Like it. I mean, yeah, obviously it was used, yeah. but nothing, you know. Looks pretty clean. It was taken care of. Right, I mean, they kept the box and everything, so. Yeah, it's cool. It's got all the original. Listed for 50 just to move it. I'm, yeah. yeah. That's a good. Yeah, got it for $10. Not bad. Yeah. <clears throat> Another Frank find. Frank found a lot of stuff this weekend. You did good. <laughs> you put a lot of stuff back, too, though. Not too much. <laughs> I mean, really. Uh, the Cosby Show on DVD, all eight seasons. Got to make sure all the all the discs are in there. What did we pay five dollars for that? I, you know, I almost didn't comp this because a lot of Cosby stuff that I've looked up before doesn't really sell. Uh, and I was like, you know, I just it looked kind of cool. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, some of the I box sets are it good. Up and I was like, oh, I was impressed. Yeah, it sold for thirty bucks. So hopefully all the discs are in there and... I think we paid up a little bit because there's eight, they, they charge by the CD and there's eight of them in there. So we might've paid like $8 or $9. For no, 10. no, it was like four or five. Oh, it was it? Yeah, okay, it was. Cool. cool. Yeah, it wasn't like $2, like the price of their just DVDs, but I think it was only $4 or so, not bad. So this is another Frank find. This is the Hot Logic Mini. Maybe I'll just title this video Frank Finds. I know, right? <laughs> so, I guess so. It's a mini personal portable oven. It's not that great though. It doesn't sell for that much. It's been used. You know, clean that up a little bit, but it, it warms up and you, you know, you can, I guess, warm up your lunch or whatever in there, like a hot plate kind of thing. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat. It is. I, I, yeah, it does work. We plugged it in and it started warming up. What did uh, what did we buy this for? Um, or for dash? Four dollars. Yeah. Well, not bad. I mean, Sold, um, well, brand new, it's sold for 15 I don't know. Brand new, though. Yeah, whatever. I can't remember now what's actually listed it was, right it was now. but quick grab, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. A couple of other things that I didn't have comps on, but I just took a chance. Well, this, the Cabbage Patch doll, paid up for him a little bit, too. Six ninety nine. I'll clean. I'll, I'll be able to clean that up, I think, with a magic eraser. But I have a lot of Cabbage Patch Kids clothes, so I figure I can get an outfit on him, and he'll, he'll sell good. I don't know exactly for what, but I mean, I saw comps for not too bad being with the clothes in that. This is a fanfare, you know, old My First Christmas rattle doll. No comps on this, but again, for Christmas, I figured that might sell. You know, it's, you know, got that old look to it. The eyes and everything are still in really good shape. So a Moen towel ring. So I think... There was a sold comp that had two different ones for like $30 or something. Um, we paid $5 for this, but it's new sealed still in there. We figured that'd be a quick, quick, easy. And then these I could not find. I searched Google. I searched eBay. I did a Google image search. I don't know. So $2 for each bag. These, they're new in the bag. I don't know if they were some kind of promotional thing that came you know, free with a purchase, a baby purchase. They're Little Tykes 1993, just baby toys. I don't think they're, I don't think they're rattles. They're just little baby plush toys I got. I don't even know what I'm gonna list it for yet, but you know, it's old. Little Tykes stuff seems to move pretty good. Yeah, and I mean, I haven't seen this anywhere, so maybe, maybe somebody will. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Merry Christmas!